Hello, welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we are going to be going through um, the Escaso Dream with PID. So you can see the machine here, it's very small. We're going to be using the Sete 30 grinder from Baratza. I'm going to brew a couple of espressos and we're also going to use the steam wand to steam some milk, okay? A uh, little bit about this machine, it is a thermoblock heating system. It has a 1.3 liter reservoir. You can see we have a nice heating tray up top. We've got these three knobs here. This one right here is our power, so we're on. This is our espresso one. So if we push this down, we're going to be brewing for a double espresso. If we push it up, we'll brew for a single espresso. This is our water and steam knob right here. Um, so if we flip this one up, we're going to be producing water that comes right out of the steam wand. And if we flip it down, we're going to produce steam again out of the steam wand. This machine does have customizable PID, so you can see that here. We'll be displaying our temperature. You can see it rise when we're heating up, and you can also see it rise when we're heating up for our steaming temperature as well. So we're at about 96 right now. Yeah, we're good. Um, and you can customize that as well within the uh, espresso range. PID is awesome because you won't be fluctuating too much within your optimal brewing temperature. Um, a machine that does not have PID can fluctuate up to about 10 degrees within that optimal brewing temperature. So you don't run the risk with this machine of under or over extracting your espresso because of your temperature. You'll always be good there. It has a really fast heat up time as well, but a minute and a half until it's ready to go. That's thanks to that thermoblock heating system. And the heat up time for the milk is also really quick as well. It's about a minute for, for that one too. Uh, we've got our pressure gauge right here. So if your espresso is pouring well, you'll know uh, based on where your gauge is at there. So if we're anywhere between about eight to 10 bars, we're gonna have a good espresso. Nine bars is optimal. Our water tank, the 1.3 liter one, it's located just on the side here. So you can see that the water tank here is illuminated. So if I pull that out, it just comes out like that. And fill it. The machine is also um, cased in aluminum and made in Spain. So it's a very high quality machine. It's very heavy too, so you can feel that um, quality and the weight of the machine. Our porta filter here, which has some dosed out espresso in it, has a really nice weight to it has the nice walnut or wooden handle. I don't know what kind of wood it is. Um, and we also have this really cool tamper that comes with the machine too. Looks like a little weight. It doesn't come with a steaming jug, but you also have a really nice wood accent knob on the side for steaming too. So besides the PID that's um, customizable, you can also program the volume of your shots. Uh, you will just uh, use that doing the knobs here. It's really easy to do. So we've programmed ours uh, for the double shot. All right, I'm gonna start brewing some coffee here. I've got my dosed out espresso here, tamped it. We're about 16 grams in here. I'm gonna start going. All right, so I'm gonna brew this. This machine also has what's called an OPV or an overpressure valve. That's going to help to regulate the pressure of each espresso shot so you're not overpressurizing your espresso shot. And it looks like our bar pressure is really good. We're right at about nine. And so this will shut off automatically um, once it's finished pouring what we've programmed it to. Right there. Great. So you can see our espresso here. Got a nice crema on it. All right, so I've brewed my espresso and now we're going to start uh, heating up for our steam. So I'm just going to enter into the steaming mode here and you're going to see uh, this flashing here. Once we've reached temperature, it will stop flashing. All right, so we've stopped flashing, which means we've reached temperature. You can see on our PID display here that we're at 165, which is a good temperature for steaming. So I'm just gonna get going. Turn my knob on the side here, turn it towards you. This is a very nice steam wand. It's on a ball joint, so you can really move it around. It's very mobile. And get a nice spiral going here. All 
right. Very powerful. So on this machine, we have two options. I can either lower my boiler temp by releasing some water out of the steam wand, or I can just uh, turn off the steam mode and wait about five to eight minutes and it's going to push, put itself back down to temperature. I'm going to do that today instead of the, um, the purging process. So I'll just turn off my steam and now we're going to be flashing and once it stops flashing the 96, then we're ready to brew some coffee. So I'm just gonna combine my beverage together. Kind of got down the side of the cup. All right, and now my milk, good. Nice and foamy. Okay, here's our latte. Got some nice foam. So we're just gonna go over a few differences between the Dream with PID and the other Escaso machines that we carry. We're gonna start with the Dream Zero. So you'll notice right off the bat here that we do have a different steam wand. It's more of a Panarello style steam wand than the traditional steam wand that the Dream Zero, uh, sorry, Dream with PID will have. We also don't have any PID. Um, you do have a temperature, a temperature gauge here to show you what temperature you are at, but no temperature control there with the PID, no customizable temperature levels. We do have the three buttons here, or three knobs. Got our coffee, our uh, power is in the center, and then our steam is on the side. We do have the knob over on this side as well for our steaming. It is not the wooden like the uh, Ascasa with PID. Um, we do have the 1.3 liter reservoir on the side. This one does not illuminate. And then we have a uh, 57 millimeter porta filter um, with this machine as opposed to the 58 millimeter with the um, Ascaso Dream with PID. They all come in really beautiful colors as well, so have a look on the website to see if any color uh, suits your kitchen a little better. And also with this machine, you'll notice that we don't have the uh, water option to come out of the steam wand like we did with the um, Dream with PID. So the next one here is the Ascaso Steel Uno. Um, so you'll notice here we've got four different knobs and we also do have PID with this machine. You'll notice here we do have the pressure gauge, um, just like the Dream with PID, and your temperature will display just on this little screen down here. We have the traditional steam wand. This button here, or this knob, is our power. And then our one and two cup um, espressos, or a single and double shot. Our water, and then our steam. This is a little bit of a larger unit with a larger water tank as well. It is a two liter water tank, and it's um, got a beautiful chrome finish to it. This one also does have the 58 millimeter portafilter and it does have the OPV, um, just like the Ascaso Dream with PID. The Ascaso Dream Zero will not have the OPV or the overpressure valve. All right, that's our video on the Ascaso Dream with PID. Um, if you have any questions about the machine or any of the Ascaso machines, you can leave them down below. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and remember to follow us if you want to stay up to date with us. Thank you. Bye-bye.